This is a WABG News update. Good morning, everyone. It is 825 and 64 degrees here in Greenville. I'm Victoria Grant, the man. Cindy Spencer on Region 10 News. Good morning, everyone. It is 8.56, and I'm Hillary Russo. Here's what we have. WNDU-TV, Channel 16, South Bend. News Center 16, with Mike Collins and Maureen McFadden. Jeff Jeffers with sports, and Dick Addis with the weather. Close to 400 people crowded into the Penn Hill... WFLD in Chicago. This is Fox 32 News at 9. Hi, everybody. I'm Robin Brantley. Chris Long is off this evening. A Chicago police officer is dead tonight, the victim of his own bullet. His wife... You're watching WLFI, Lafayette's own TV station. New Service 18, the late edition, with David Walker, Barry McDermott, Kathy Von Pine and Larry Quisby, Mid North Indiana's only local television newscast. Good evening to you. The Philippines now have two people claiming to be president. President Ferdinand Marcos is also due to hold an inaugural ceremony shortly. WTHR, Channel 13, Indianapolis. Tonight, live from the heart of Indiana, Tom Cochran. Betsy Ross, Bob Gregory's exclusive AccuWeather, and Don Hines Sports Final. This is News Center 13 tonight. Good evening, Indiana. The city is still buzzing tonight over the landmark coroner's investigation into the shooting of Michael Taylor. Good morning. It's Tuesday, September 7th, 1999, and America's first TV family is growing this morning with the birth of a brand new show. It's like today. Only later. <laughs> later today. Coming up on Later Today, it's a great debate. Should you choose the sex of your baby? We'll tell you what you need to know. Plus, if you like Kevin Costner's style, don't miss our sneak peek inside his bedroom. And we'll be stirring things up in the kitchen with a delicious low-fat pasta dish. All that and more coming up later today. From NBC News, this is Later Today with Jody Applegate, Asha Blake, and Florence Henderson. Live from Rockefeller Center. Good morning, I'm Jody Applegate, and welcome to this brand new show from NBC News. As you've just heard, and as you... Welcome to Atlanta, and thank you for watching the Atlanta Channel, bringing you the best Atlanta has to offer in sightseeing, shopping, dining, and nightlife. There's more to come, so keep watching. Just look at Atlanta now. The following is a rebroadcast of Newswatch 16 update, recorded earlier for playback at this time. WNEP TV 16, the news station. Proud to serve all of northeastern and central Pennsylvania. This is News Watch 16 Weekend Update. Good evening, I'm Susan Hausman. Keeping the faith, that's the objective for everyone involved in the... ...society of the future. Channel 5, News at 10. The number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Now, Larry McCormick, Giselle Fernandez, Ed Arnold with Sports Page, and the entire Channel 5 news team. Good evening. It is the first day of November in 1986, and there is growth. Channel 5, News at 10. The number one primetime news hour in Los Angeles. Now, Emmy Award winning Hal Fishman, Sibby Davison, Larry McCormick, Steve Rohr with Sports, and the entire Channel 5 news team. Good evening. 
The son of Los Angeles police chief Daryl Gates is in... You're watching Channel 13 WTHR, Indiana's news channel. Good evening, everyone. I'm Susan Parks. Little 500 Weekend has Bloomington police on their toes this Saturday night. Donned with riot gear in memory of last year, the police task force prepares for many arrests. A Marion County jury deliberates into the night the fate of an 18-year-old who savagely beat his girlfriend. And the West Coast is shaken for the second time in a week. A major earthquake rocks Northern California. Live from Indiana's News Channel, this is News Center 13 tonight. Hoping that uh, the weather will help us, and, that, uh, and I'm hoping they just learn from my. They just learn from my. You're watching KABC TV, Los Angeles. Moving to the rhythm of the city, the beat of the street. News, weather, and sports for a city that plays hard, works hard, and moves fast. Harold Green, Joanna Shimina, Fred Anderson, and Jim Hill. And now, our witness news tonight. Good evening at 11 o'clock on this Sunday night. Chinese troops are still fighting to gain control of Beijing at this hour. Night. And Randy Gar. I want you to come east on Ventura Boulevard and then turn north on Balboa, up to the Ventura Freeway. Start heading east. Trisha Toyota, John Deere, Cunahan Sports, Kevin O'Connell Weather, and Nightside Reporters, Kirstie Wilde and Pete Pepper. This is News for L.A., Nightside. Good evening, everybody. The first major snowstorm of the season is now blamed for 18 deaths, including four California. Nine News is closed caption for the hearing impaired. KUSA in Denver. This is 9 News, number one in Colorado. Good evening. Aurora police still have no idea. The spirit of the Northwest on Channel 2 News at 11. With Jeff Gianola and Julie Emery. David Apple's weather. Steve Arena with sports and the entire Channel 2 News team. Good evening, everybody. Julie Emery has the evening off. The government of Panama says... Good evening. This is the Cairo Evening News. I'm Gary Justice. The controversy is heating up and may all schedule changes. This is ABC. From KAIT TV, serving Region 8, Shelby Timmons, David Avery, Craig Yancey. This is Region 8 News. Some residents of Pleasant Plains believe they're drinking something to worry about. WUAB TV, Channel 43, serving Lorraine and Cleveland. This is Channel 43 News Final, Marty Sullivan reporting. The Sen Live, local, late breaking. Now from WLBC News Center 2, this is 5.30 today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jan Smith. And I'm Steve McKay. Donna Gormley is off tonight, so we're going to get things started with Steve McKay and that weather report card. It's not a bad-looking report. And what lies ahead for their biggest employer. Live, local, late-breaking. Now, from WLBZ News Center 2, this is the 6 o'clock report. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jan Smith. Donna Gormley is off. Eva. You're watching WLBZ News Center 2, the 6 o'clock report, with Jan Smith, Donna Gormley, Steve McKay with your weather, and sports with Matt Fine. Free. This is WABI-TV, Channel 5, Bangor. 
The Duke is gone, but he's not forgotten. The world's having a swinging good time on what would be Duke Ellington's 100th birthday. Lenny, she met up with some kids who used a camera to make a point. Yeah, it's amazing what words and faces can tell because just because you learn different doesn't mean you are different. And so we're going to hear some stories from some elementary school kids tonight. All right, we'll tell you about yet another use for aspirin. And show you something that could save your dog's life. Welcome on this Thursday, April 29th, 1999. From Channel 5 News, for Eastern and Central Maine, this is First News with Jim Morris, Lady Witt, and Chris Ewing with the weather. First in our news, protesters take to the streets of Bucksport upset over a program in that town designed to help the needy. Many Bucksport residents complain about unfair treatment, saying... It's next. Circus, sir. The news you need in 30 minutes. This is Channel 7 News at 6 with Kerry Blake. John Potter, Guaranteed Weather with Rob Nucatola, and Sports with Rich Crampanis. Good evening. Carrie Blake has the night off. I'm John Potter. A brewer couple is charged with aggravated... This is the News on 6, 10 o'clock update. The people of Florida are lining up to get out. Disney World is closing. This is KEZI News at 11. The hills around Marcola are the scene of a massive search and rescue effort tonight. You're watching KEZI News at 11. With Carl Torp, Deanna Connell, meteorologist John Fisher, and Mark Larson on sports. Enjoy saving money. Thanks for watching KEZI News at 11. Your next local newscast is KEZI News this morning at 6 a.m. This has been a presentation of Chambers Communications, a locally owned company with stations in Eugene, Medford, and Klamath Falls. August 31st. Coming up next on Northwest News, investigators retrieved the bodies of three people killed in a plane crash near Marcola. A former Duck football standout is in for the battle of his life. And we'll show you what many of your neighbors were up to today. Northwest News is next. You're watching CBS for Western Oregon. And now, from the combined newsrooms in Eugene, Roseburg, and Coos Bay, this is Northwest News at 11. The Oregon Ducks are ready for action. The you are watching Oregon's News Source Network. And this is News Source 11 at 11. Good evening, Oregon. I'm Mark Kalshek. Captain Her has the night off. Rest source. This is Oregon's new source network. KMPR, NBC 16, Eugene. KMPX, NBC 46, Roseburg. And KMPZ, NBC 23, Coos Bay. Your source for coverage you can count on. Have a good night. From the KTGF studios in Great Falls, Joe May Barker reporting, Devin Swain with weather, and Ron Bruski with sports. This is News 16. Good evening, I'm Joe May Barker. A judge in the state of New Hampshire rules in the case of Jesse Murabito. Hurricane Mitch. Fox 8 News starts right now. WBUE TV, New Orleans. This is Fox 8 News. Nearly 2 million East Coast residents are being told to board up their homes and head out before Hurricane Floyd gets any closer. 
evening, Floyd's lost some of its strength, but... The following is a rebroadcast of the Night Watch edition of News Watch 13. You're watching WLOX TV 13, Biloxi Gulf Fort, Pascagoula. Now, the news for South Mississippi. Night Watch with Jeff Lawson and Mioka Broussard, A.J. Jardino with sports, and Chief Meteorologist Mike Reeder with your Mississippi Power Doppler forecast. We'll tell you what's being done to ease ongoing water problems in one Harrison County subdivision. And find out... Boyd. WLOX TV 13, Biloxi Gulfport, Pascagoula. We now join ABC's World News Now, already in progress. Take your calls. Coming up next on Channel 4's Eyewitness News. Hurricane Floyd slams the Bahamas and forces the evacuation of millions of people from Florida to the Carolinas. The LSU campus is in shock over the murder of a student in her off-campus apartment. And in Washington, more talk of campaign finance reform. WWL-TV, Channel 4, New Orleans. This is Louisiana's news leader. Channel 4's Eyewitness News. Good morning and welcome to the early edition for this Wednesday morning, September 15th. I'm Jeff. WLTV, Channel 4, New Orleans. This is Louisiana's News Leader. Channel 4's Eyewitness Morning News. Good morning, everybody, and thanks for joining us for another edition of the Hour This Morning News. You're looking at a shot of the Crescent two City. Being called Paulding County's worst brush fire in five years. It forces people from their homes tonight. CBS Atlanta News starts right now. From CBS Atlanta, WGNX 46. This is CBS Atlanta News at 11. It's really bad. Tonight, the Empire State is feeling the powerful winds and punch of Tropical Storm Floyd. It is day three of deliberations tomorrow for the jurors in the trial of former state senator Ralph News tonight. Thank you for making us your choice for news. For John and Mark, I'm Jane Robolo. And I'm Calvin Hughes. The Late Show with David Lauderman is up next. Good night, everyone. Live from NBC4, the station working for you. Jim Giggins, Tracy Savage, and Angie Austin AccuWeather. This is Today in L.A. Weekend, Southern California's number one morning news. Coping with the disaster, the people of Mexico are still reeling. This is the news leader. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Bill Ritter. Sandra Bookman, Spencer Tillman with sports, Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. The Eyewitness News. Tonight, winds of change, and they could dramatically alter the course of... You're watching Southern California's CBS 2 News at 6. Our big story at 6, Hurricane Dennis moving away from the Bahamas and Florida, but will Georgia or the Carolinas be right in its path? Good evening, I'm Sophia Choi. Gretchen Carr has the night off. And I'm Jason Carroll. Here comes Hurricane Dennis, but for... This is the News Leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hurricane Dennis proves to be a menace for North Carolina as it bears down on the coast, packing rough winds and heavy... You're watching the News Leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. With Nancy Liu, David Ushery, Bill Evans with the AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. This is the News Leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hurricane Dennis roars by the North Carolina coast. It's a stuff with some place to go. The U.S. Open, the crowds gathering at Flushing Meadows, 
We'll take you there live for the opening day action later on Eyewitness News. I like that. Mm -hmm. You're watching the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. With Roz Abrams, Rob Hanrahan, Sam Champion with the AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. He starts. This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Prosecutors call him a sexual predator. Now he's charged with molesting nine children. Good evening, everyone. I'm Diana Williams in tonight for Bill Butel. Tonight, a lot of people are questioning why Robert... This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Right now, a live picture of hundreds of Jews taking to the... You're watching the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. With Bill Butel, Diana Williams, Scott Clark with sports, Sam Champion with the AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Here are the stories making headlines on this Tuesday, August 31st. Outrage in Brooklyn this morning. You're watching the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News, with Nancy Liu, David Ushery, Art McFarland with sports, Bill Evans with the AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Answered after back. You're watching the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News, with Bill Butel, Scott Clark with sports, Sam Champion with the AccuWeather forecast and the Eyewitness News team. Close up. Now, coverage you can count on. Channel 2 Action News. We have to tell you honestly that we're completely devastated and we don't understand it. The family of murder. You're watching Southern California CBS 2 News at noon. Together, we must and we will get beyond this dark moment. Better it's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? This is the Fox 5 10 o'clock news. Good evening, I'm Harry Martin. And I'm Linda Schmidt. Cynthia Santana is off tonight. It has been at the center. Live from NBC4, the station working for you. Rick Chambers, Diane Diaz, Paul Johnson, AccuWeather, Carlos Del Valle, Sports, Southern California's number one weekend news, the Channel 4 News at 5. Arms raised and a salute. It's 9 o'clock. Time for news. Now, from Fox 7, this is the Tri-State's only one-hour newscast. Fox 7 First News. Hi, I'm Jennifer Brandt. And I'm Randy Moore. First on Fox tonight, a con... You are watching Fox 7 First News with Randy Moore, Jennifer Brandt, Chief Meteorologist Ron Rhodes, and Rich Miller with Fox 7 Sports. As Live from the heart of central Indiana, you're watching WTHR, Channel 13, Indianapolis. With coverage you can count on, this is Channel 13 Eyewitness News, Night Beat. A rooftop battle to put out a business fire. Good evening, I'm Ann Ryder. And I'm John Stair. It's breaking news right now. It's on the east side in the 2900 block of East Washington. Night Beat reporter Yolanda Walker joins us now from the scene with a look at what's going on. 24905. Now, with coverage you can count on for all of Central Indiana. Ann Ryder, John Stair, Bob Gregory's Skytrack forecast, and sports with Dave Calabro. This is Channel 13 Eyewitness News, Night Beat. Thousands of residents of Southern California are packing up tonight to leave this. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a nice evening. Coverage you can count on continues tomorrow morning from 5 to 7 on Channel 13 Eyewitness News Sunrise.
You're watching Wish TV, your 24-hour news station. Now, News 8 gets you closer. It's kind of like Christmas shopping starting in July. And uh, I go and run here every other day. You're watching News Watch at 5 with Mike Blake, Stephanie Sylvie, Storm Team Meteorologist Jeff Lyons, and Ann Comas with the Health Team Family Health Cat on 14 WFIE, the Tri-State's News Leader. You know Live from 14 WFIE, the Tri-State's News Leader, this is News Watch 14 at 6. Good evening, I'm Ann Coleman. I'm David James. A follow-up tonight on whether truck drivers need to stop at railroad crossings. Seems there's a lot. You're watching News Watch at 6 with David James. Ann Coleman. Storm Team Meteorologist Jeff Lyons. And Sports with Mike Blake on 14 WFIE, the Tri-State's News Leader. Just Good evening, I'm Lauren Collier. And I'm Johnny Palmer. In Sullivan County, Indiana tonight, economic development was the topic of the Chamber of Commerce's second annual industry appreciation ban. From the, from the News Center, this is News Break 10. Good evening, I'm Dave Wagner. 46-year-old Della Nolan remains in serious condition tonight at Union Hospital. We'll look at the helicopter crash at Columbus, Indiana. We'll celebrate a 100th birthday and make some cider on the late edition. We now return to Some Kind of Hero, starring Richard Pryor and Margot Kidder. When you turn to News Channel 2, you can expect the most comprehensive news coverage in the Wabash Valley. Whether it's around the corner or around the world. You can expect to plan your day around the area's most dependable weather forecast. Rain or shine. And you can expect to see if your favorite team is a reason to celebrate. Tom McClanahan. Ann Shea, Jason Penske, and meteorologist Jesse Walker get what you expect every weeknight at 6 and 11, only on News Channel 2. This is your news. This is a News Channel 2 election update. You are watching KX4, your news channel. The news starts now. Crash investigators are spending the day pouring over the wreckage of golfer Payne Stewart's jet that crashed. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Live from the Valley's Choice for local news, this is KVLY News 11 at 5. The vice chairman of the NTSB says... Wait. You are watching the Valley's Choice for Local News, KVLY News 11, with Darren Selvig and meteorologist Tom Shemansky. Domino's Pizza Love. Winter doesn't officially arrive until December. Live from the Valley's Choice for Local News, this is KVLY News 11 at 6. Good evening. Federal aviation investigators say they've never seen anything like the sight of Payne Stewart's jet craft. You are watching the Valley's Choice for local news. KVLY News 11 with Charlie Johnson, Robin Huebner, meteorologist Tom Shemansky, and Dan Hammer Sports. You are watching KX4, your news channel. The news starts now. Investigators spend the day sifting through wreckage, hoping... You are watching KX4, your news channel. In news from across America tonight, a semi crashed into two school buses this morning in Indiana, injuring 70 people, mostly students. The buses were... Live from the Valley's Choice for Local News, 
This is KBLY News 11's Valley Today. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Valley Today. It is October 27th, 6 a.m. I'm Amy Hocker. And I'm Amy Kelly, and it is right now 42 degrees. Live from WDAY, your news leader, Austin Shower, meteorologist John Wheeler, and sports director Dana Mock. This is WDAY News at 5. The Republican frontrunner for president makes a stop in Fargo. Hundreds turn out. Live from WDAY, your news leader. Marv Bossard and Kirsten Keeley, meteorologist John Wheeler, and sports director Dana Mock. This is WDAY News at 10. I understand the importance of agriculture in the America. Good night, everybody. Good night. From WDAY, your news leader, Tracy Briggs, Kip Hines, weather, and Steve Hallstrom, sports. This is WDAY News at 6. Good evening, everyone. A North Dakota man is dead after an intense house fire last night. Live from the Valley's Choice for local news, this is KBLY News 11 at 10. You are watching the Valley's Choice for Local News, KBLY News 11, with Andrea Larson, Amy Kelly's Weather, and Scott Peters Sports. Closed caption. Live from Kelloland Television, Kelloland News at 5. Good evening. It took only a day for Sioux Falls schools to nix the notion. You are watching the Valley's Choice for Local News, KBLY News 11, Valley Today, with Mick Kerr and Amy Hawker. Hello, I'm... Live from your news leader, WDAY, this is First News. With Kelly Stone, meteorologist Daryl Richardson, and Scott Miller Sports. Good morning and thanks for starting your day with First News. We are broadcasting live this morning from the Fargo Holiday Inn. The 1999 North Dakota Business Conference is underway.